How to use Bing AI image generator step by step. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how you're going to be using this incredible AI image generator called Bing AI. Now you definitely know about this because, you know, Bing AI has been taking the internet by storm using its great chatbots and all. And uh, obviously you can access Bing AI through your Microsoft Edge as well. Currently I am using Opera, but you could go on Microsoft Edge as so. And here you can just go ahead and write Bing AI for yourself. And if I write Bing AI, as you can see, I'm just going to go over to the chat section over here. And once I go over to the chat section, it's going to bring me to Bing AI's chat and here you can see it says chat with the new Bing AI and it brings us here. So this is your Bing AI. It's a GPT-4 uh, responder and it works pretty well. Trust me, it's one of the best things that Bing has provided us. And then there's also Copilot, which is your basic AI. But obviously this is just basically Bing's version of chat GPT. But what we're here to talk about is Bing's AI image generator, okay? Now you can access this image generator through other browsers of yours as well. So if I come here, Bing AI image, if I write that, you can see that it's going to create an image creator from there. But although you can do it from other browsers, I would definitely recommend you to do this through Microsoft Edge for the best output and best working. So I'm just going to come over to my Microsoft Edge. And once we've, you know, opened up this Bing chat with GPT-4, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to write Bing image generator. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and write that. It's going to give me the image creator from Bing. I'm going to open this up. And here we can see image creator powered by Dolly 3. How incredible is that? Now, Dolly is basically one of the lead and one of the greatest, you could say, image generator AIs out there. And it's totally free. And you can try it out right now for yourself. It's uh, completely created by chat to GPT's creators, OpenAI. And OpenAI created this uh, pretty much before ChatGPT was created. But trust me, Dolly was one of the greatest image generators ever. I have used it a lot. And trust me, it I never regret it using it. It's a really good generator and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. But to, you know, move on from that, they made... Microsoft Bing's very own image creator AI, which is powered by Dolly 3. So Dolly 1 was the first one. Dolly 2 was the recent one. Dolly 3 is obviously a more advanced version of the image creator. And you can see some examples of things that you can create. So you can obviously join and create in with the Bing image creator. And over here, it asks you for your you know account details. And here it says sign in to earn points for rewards and experience with Bing Image Creator. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in with my Microsoft account and we're gonna get straight into this. So once you sign in, basically it's gonna bring us here to this, uh, you could say, more loaded in dashboard. Now, when it comes to using this incredible image generator, uh, to start things off and to spice things up, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead. Now you get a few points as well. So it says create more images more quickly with boosts. If you run out, image generation may take longer. OK, so I have 15 boosts, meaning I can, you know, I have 15 quick images in my arsenal. But when these run out, obviously, it's going to take a bit time as it does on, you know, other things like Mid Journey or Dolly. But we can wait, can't we? So to start things off, let's ask for it to surprise us. OK, I'm going to ask it to surprise me to actually see the type of things that it can create. So the prompt it put in is an astronaut dance party on the surface of Mars digital illustration. And we're going to click on create. OK, once you click on create, as you can see, it starts creating things. And you can also see that my boosts have gone down by one and it starts adding in. And look at this, an astronaut dance party on the surface of Mars. Look at these things. So we're on Mars and just a dance party is going on and it's a digital illustration. And look at how high quality this thing is. It looks absolutely out of this world. The attention to detail is amazing. And you can even customize this more in detail by just using the Microsoft designer if you want to. I'm going to skip that bit right now. But yeah, you get the whole point of it. And then you can download this file, open it in your desktop as well. And look at this. 
Look at the attention to detail. Look at the flares in the back. It looks really nice, right? Now let's give it something tricky. You know, let's actually give it something that I wanted to create. So I'm gonna go ahead with four man rock band wearing all black. Uh, let's say, let's go with a dark aesthetic uh, performing for huge crowd. Uh, let's give it something more. I'm going to call it HD. Uh, and uh, let's go with something a bit more difficult for it to create. Let's go with depth of field. Let's go with depth of field as well. You know, you need to give it some challenge. So now we're going to click on create. And here we go. Four man rock band wearing all black dark aesthetic performing for huge crowd. HD depth of field. So these are basically prompts that you enter with commas. Okay. So that is exactly what you're going to need to do as well. And as you can see, your image is being created by AI. So we're just going to wait it out. We're going to see and look at this. It looks absolutely amazing. Look, just look at the attention to detail. So they're wearing all black and you can see the lighting. You can see the whole vibe of it, the whole dark aesthetic thing that I asked it to add. And it's exactly a four man band. You can see there's one bassist. There's one lead guitarist and vocalist. There's the other vocalist and guitarist. And then there's the drummer. So exactly a four man band, as you can clearly see. But you can obviously use this for some type of other designs as well. So let's say you wanted to create like you're a musician or you're some type of uh, artist and you want to create some album cover. So you can, uh, you know, uh, write something like uh, Deftones album cover aesthetic. You know, you can write a uh, unicorn flying into the sun. Uh, let's call it Poseidon flying beside it. Realistic. And then we're going to, you know, write attention to detail. And, uh, you know, uh, we can also write war in space, you know, so we can give it the most things to add it. And we're just going to add album cover in the end. And let's see what kind of thing it provides us. And as you can see, the boosts are still there. The boosts being used. And according to the boost, it gives us the greatest designs in the quickest way possible. So this is how you can use your image creator by Bing. And you can see the amount of detail that it gives. So look at this. Uh, you get a whole vibe of it. So Deftones album cover where the whole parental advisory thing and uh, you can see the unicorn flying into the sun and uh, you can even see the whole war going on. It didn't exactly drop Poseidon for me, but look at this. Look at how incredible and how aesthetically pleasing this whole thing looks. So it looks really nice. And I assume, yeah, this is the war going on in space and there's Poseidon lying down there, I suppose. So you get the whole point. Looks amazing. And this is how you can use Bing's AI as creator. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.